Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome to my channel again. But before we proceed to my new topic, I would like to give a special mention to the following persons. Chai Espina of Canada, my cousin and best friend. And also Huas Freaking's channel. Kindly check her channel, Huas Freaking's channel and give her more likes. And also Jing Roll. And also please check her channel, Awesome Journey. Hi Jing! Uh, these persons who were with me during the premiere of my video, The Color Wheel. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your presence during the premiere. Mwah. And also to the Balonga family of Manila, the family of Hinara Taguba Balonga, especially to her children, Crystal, Crystal, Krista, grades 9, 5, and 3 respectively. My new subscribers and followers, thank you so much kids. Love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Kindly follow my future videos and give me more likes. Thank you so much, guys. Another way of understanding color is through studying its properties. But before that, let me ask you one question. Have you seen black and white on the color wheel? No. Why? Why does the color wheel leave off black and white? Because black and white are not considered colors. They are not part of the spectrum. They are used to neutralize colors. They are neutral. Black is the absence of light, while white contains the visible light. In a technical sense, black and white are shades. White contains the visible light. While black is the absence of light. This is art. The color properties. Do you want to know? Hue. Hue. Intensity. 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 Value. The sun is up, it's a beautiful day. My beginning. In this video, we have a look at the terminology of color properties and their meaning. Color properties allow us to distinguish and define colors. The more we know about color properties, the better we can adjust colors to our needs. Eyes here. Let's get to know the three properties of color. The hues. Hues are the pure colors, or they are known as the primary colors, the red, blue, and yellow. For more details, please go back to my vlog number 51, The Color Wheel. Another property that defines color is intensity or also known as saturation. Intensity or saturation refers to the dullness or brightness of the color. I have an example here. I took this photo about three years ago and this is exactly the original color of the buds. From a perceptional point of view, saturation influences the grade of purity of a color or image. A desaturated or sometimes called as undersaturated image is said to be dull or less colorful. A low saturation will appear to be more washed out or pale. In here, I decreased the intensity of the color. It looks more dull compared to the original image. This time, in this photo, I increased the intensity of the color. As the saturation increases, the color appears to be more pure. The higher the saturation, the brighter the image. On the other hand, the lower the saturation, the duller the color. 
If the color is dull, it appears to be less interesting to the eyes. So don't forget this property of color, intensity, or saturation, and is sometimes called chroma. Another property of color is the value, or the lightness and darkness of color. Let us look at how the value of the primary colors changes. We can lighten or darken a color by changing its lightness value. Lightness defines a range from dark to fully lighted. Dark value is called shade, while light value is tint. A tint is created when you add white to a color and lighten it. For example, add white to blue to create baby blue. Or mix white with red to create pink. The process is called tinting. Shade is a color produced by adding black. Shading is the opposite of tinting. Just as with tints, we can add black to any of the 12 colors of the color wheel or to any combination of colors of the color wheel to create shades of that color by adding various amounts of black. What colors make dark red? A mixture of black and red. Red plus black will make a range of shades of red to black depending on how much of each color is mixed. Look at this chart. These colors are product of mixing black and red. That's all about shading, mixing black with other colors. How about mixing black and white? The result is gray. Tint plus shade is gray. In color theory, a tint is a mixture of a color with white, which increases lightness, while a shade is a mixture with black, which increases darkness. You might have heard the word tone before. It's an artist's color mixing terminology. A tone is produced either by mixing a color with gray or by both tinting and shading. Here's the formula for toning. Gray plus other color equals tone or black plus white plus other color equals tone for instance tone pink this chart represents the different shades of pink it means these are the results after gray has been added to pink the result is always dependent on how much of each color is mixed You can try mixing colors at home. That's all for today's topic and see you on my future videos. Thank you so much for watching guys. Shout out to Laila Sisikan, my former student of Bohol Island State University.